потом пад. Can't start. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the forum today. I'm Jim Rowe. I'm the incoming Vice President for Government Affairs, Public Affairs, and Community Affairs. And it's a uh, privilege for me and my first official act for Harvard to be introducing President Petrosian. This is his first visit to Cambridge, but it's really a reunion, the capital of Armenia and Cambridge have had a sister city relationship uh, for the last few years. So uh, although it's your first visit, we welcome you back um, in the spirit of a reunion. Uh, an introductory speech should be short when you have a man of as many accomplishments as the president. I'll just briefly talk about uh, the highlights, or I'll spend the whole afternoon talking about what this man has done. As uh, this audience knows, he, he's been the founder of the first uh, pro-democracy group in the Soviet Union. He was imprisoned in Moscow for organizing nationalist demonstrations in support of Armenian independence. He became the chairman of the Supreme Council of Armenia, and he was the leader of the legislature's uh, adoption of the Declaration of Independence 
and in 1991, he was the first democratically elected president of the Republic of, of Armenia. At Harvard, um, that would be um, a tremendous achievement, but I don't want to skip over uh, your scholarly achievements. We were talking before, and uh, the president said he would like to come back one day in the future and lecture. Uh, he certainly has the credentials. He has a degree in philology. He has a master's degree. He was a junior scholar at the Institute uh, of Literature of the Academy of Sciences of Armenia. He got a PhD in 1987 from Leningrad University, and he's the author of over 70 articles and six monographs. Um, even in Cambridge and Harvard, that is a um, tremendous achievement. So uh, again, um, we would also like to point out that his political achievement, his party uh, won over 83% of the vote, uh, which is a great achievement for any political party. And since uh, his party has been in power, uh, they have been debating the proposed constitution, and the president has been uh, a firm advocate of uh, looking at increasing executive uh, power. And I know that uh, you share with me the um, hope that we will hear more from the president uh, in his remarks. And following his remarks, we will have some questions and answers. Thank you. Your colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, in Samar Giraguin Hajuike and this Galu Ais Lesarani Archef. It's a great pleasure for me to speak before this audience. Giraguin Hajuike, Yerkut Esaketits. It's a great pleasure in two senses. Nahorin Samar Metspative and this Gal. ISPC Ashkara Harchak Hamal Saranum. First, because it's an honor for me to speak at such a world famous university. Yevir Kurt, in Samar Hatrike, Borofite Paisle Saranum, Yes Hishumem, Vor Gitna Ganem. And it's also a great pleasure because it is here that I remember that I am a scholar. Yevis Im Shnora Galusunem Ozum Haitnel, Baron Pochna Hagahin, Vorin Fishet Ritz. I would like to express my appreciation to the Vice President of Harvard University for reminding me of my scholarly achievements. Trying to foresee what questions are of interest to you, I will focus my remarks on three essential questions. Might turn out that I have uh, foreseen incorrectly. But that will become clear at, during the question and answer period. There might be a certain duality in my presentation. After all, I am a scholar, that's true, but I'm also an active political activist. I will be speaking about questions about, uh, about which, as a historian, I need to be completely objective. But at the same time, as a political activist who's in the middle of developing events, I have my political interests. 
լինել որքան նարավոր է օբյեկտիվ բոլոր դեպքերում այսօր հանդես գալ որպես ավելի շատ պատմաբան քան քաղաքական գործիչ but i will try to be as objective as possible and be today more of a historian than a political activist առաջին խնդիրը որի վրա կուզեի ճանրանալ դա նախկին խորհրդային միության այսօրվա վիճակն է The first question around which I would like to make remarks is the current situation of the former Soviet Union. Antamene 3 tari arach derevs goyutyun uner mi hamashkharayin kaysrutyun inchpisin khortayin miyutyunn e ev aysor yes kartsum em djvar e patkeratsnel poch mi ayn dzes hamar ayl nayev mes hamar shat djvar e patkeratsnel vor menk nervsum menk թե ինչ է իրենից ներկայացնում այդ նախկին կայսրությունը այսօր Barely 3 years ago there was a worldwide empire the Soviet Union and now it's difficult for us to visualize it's probably difficult for you but even for us who were inside of it what it is like today 1991 թվականի դեկտեմբերին դու գիտես խորհրդային միությունը քայքայվեց եւ նրա փոխարեն տեղծվեց անկախ պետությունների համագործակցություն։ You know very well that in the in December of 1991 the Soviet Union disintegrated and was uh, in its place uh, there came to be a Commonwealth of Independent States. Դա տեղի ունեցավ Բելառուսիայում Ելցինի, Կրավչուկի եւ Շուշկևիչի հանդիպման ժամանակ։ This happened in Belarus during the meeting of Yeltsin, Kravchuk and Shushkevich. Այսօր քաղաքական շահագրգրություն ունեցող ուժերը փորձում են ներկայացնել որ այդ հանդիպումն էր որ պատճառ դարձավ խորհրդային միության քայքայման There are elements which have political interests who try to represent that meeting as the event that led to the disintegration of the Soviet Union Yes right այս տեսակետի համաձայն չեմ I do not share that opinion Հորդային միությունը քայքայված էր եւ վերացած էր դրանից առաջ։ The Soviet Union had disintegrated before that already. Եվ նույնիսկ ոչ 91 թվականի օգոստոսին երբ տեղի ունեցավ հայտնի ֆուջը։ And I'm not even talking about August of 1991 when the well-known coup d'etat took place. Այդ ֆուջը վերջին ակորդն էր ֆուջը հորդային միության ինքնասպանությունն էր։ The coup d'etat was the last straw perhaps it was the suicide of the Soviet Union. By Sovietakan miyutyuna irakanum goyutyun chuner dranitsel arach. But the fact of the matter is that the Soviet Union had already ceased to exist before that. Yes ay jamanak vorpes hanrapetutsyan rekavar antameyi khortayin miyutyan geraguin ishkhanakan marmni Federatsiyai khororti At the time as the head of state of Armenia I was a member of the Federation Council which was the highest instance in the Soviet Union at the time Sayer verchint mektarum 90 tvakanits minchev khortayin miutsyan avarta khortayin miutsyan geraguin ishkhanutyuna Federatsiyai khorortner The Federation Council was between 1990 and the end of the Soviet Union the uh, highest instance of the Soviet Union. Այս ֆեդերացիայի խորհրդի կազմում մենք ունեցել ենք շուրջ 15 ուրեմն նիստ Գորբաչովի գլխավորությամբ The Federation Council had 15 sessions chaired by Gorbachev. Եվ այդ ժամանակ մեզ հայտնի էր թե ինչ է տեղի ունենում խորհրդային միությունը։ And even then we could see what is happening in the Soviet Union. 91 թվականի հունվարին Արդեն իրականում հորդային միությունը որպես մեկ միասնական պետություն արդեն գոյություն չուներ։ By January of 1991 the Soviet Union had already ceased to exist as one integrated state. Ինչու Որովհետև այդ պետությունը արդեն չուներ իր ամենահիմնական կարևոր պայմանը գոյության։ Why because that state already lacked the most uh, necessary element of statehood da miasnakan kam kentronakan byudzhener 
Can't throw another one? Budget, budget. Oh, it didn't have a central budget anymore. In a sum, make the vacani Mubarin, I live with Ortai Mutuna, Chunesh, Yasnakan, Kentronakan, budget. By January of 1991, the Soviet Union already lacked a central integrated budget. Watch me, Harapetutun, I live with Kentronakan, Bujain, Vacharum, Cherkataru. No republic uh, paid into the central budget anymore. And that includes Russia. At that point, it was clear that the state will cease to exist. As for the meeting in Belarus of uh, Yeltsin, Kravchuk, and Shushkevich, as for their meeting, I believe that those were those they were those historical figures who saved the Soviet Union from a great catastrophe. The formation of the CIS at that meeting was the event and the element that saved the Soviet Union from the fate of Yugoslavia. Yete Gorbachova, Kestariel Manar Ishanutian Geluch, yes, this was the head's name. If Gorbachev had stayed in power for, say, another half a year, I assure you that the Soviet Union would be in a situation today that is much worse than that of Yugoslavia. So I believe that the historical mission of the CIS was to uh, allow us to avoid the Yugoslavian, the Yugoslav alternative. Tajikistan, Yivailan. It's true, you could say that there are uh, conflicts within the boundaries of the former Soviet Union. There is bloodletting in Azerbaijan, in Georgia, in Moldova, in Tajikistan. But, Nah, I's conflict nere. Irens, Zavalov, Amenevin, Amenevateli, Chen, Yugoslavakan conflict nere. But, first of all, these conflicts are not com comparable in scale with those in the Former Yugoslavia. And secondly, the nature of the Yugoslav conflict was that Serbia, as the dominating force, separately and one by one entered into battle with the uh, emerging independent republics. That did not happen in the Soviet Union. Russia did not enter into battle with any of the emerging republics. There were indeed many opportunities and there were many provo uh, provocations, but Russia was able to uh, resist and to maintain the balance. Yes, Kartsumem Chapazans, Nashanakalit, Yerevuit. I find this to be a very uh, important 
moment in the 400 history 400 year history of the Russian empire. 우리만 ես ասացի արդեն որ անկախ պետությունների համագործակցության էության մի կարևոր հատկանիշը այն էր որ դրանով խորթային միությունը փրկվեց յուգոսլավական տարբերակից I already pointed out that one of the important elements of the nature of the CIS was that it uh, saved the Soviet Union from the Yugoslav, from the fate of Yugoslavia. But what does it represent today? Is it now a political system? Is it an economic system? Is it a security system? Or is it all of those together? Yes, Petke Avastem, Vors Ankah Petutuneri Hamagorzak Tuna, Bolorovin, Kam Batsarzakapes, Kakakan Hamakar Che. I have to assure you that the Commonwealth of Independent States is definitely not a political system. Քաղաքական համակարգ չէ երկու առումով։ It is not a political system in two senses. Որովհետև անդամ պետությունները կանգնած են տարբեր քաղաքական մակարդակներում։ First because the member states are on different political levels. Կառուցում են տարբեր պետական կառույցներ, they are forming uh, building different state structures. And secondly, the Commonwealth of Independent States does not have and is not in any way in the process of forming a, an integrated or a unified foreign policy. Bolos, Antam, Petutunere, Irens Artakin, Kakan, Samich, Vatsarsakapes, Ankahen. All the member states are absolutely independent in their foreign policies. Uh, there are some tendencies, of course. Uh, sessions have been, meetings have been held. There is uh, a commission or a uh, council. Council. council of yeah. foreign ministers of the independent states. Voronki harke ais kamain hartsum mshakum en entanur motetsumner and in uh, certain questions this question or that question they might form uh, consensuses entanur motetsumner en mshakum bats chka partadir kharkanutsyun vorin partavor en yentarkvel bolor hanrapetutsyunner but there is no uh, policy that is enforced in such a way that all of the member republics have to follow that policy. Uh, you can see that quite clearly in the consultations of the CSCE as well as in the United Nations be it in the General Assembly or even in the Security Council. Uh, if you look at the voting records in the United Nations, you'll see that the different republics of the former Soviet Union um, create a colorful pattern of differential voting, different voting. At least now, as I try to make clear, the CIS is not a political system. That it might become, it's true that in the future it might develop into such a political structure. Yerkort 
թվում էր, թե խորդային անկաղ պետությունների համագործակթյունը պետք է լինի գոն է տնտեսական համակարգ։ It seemed that at the very least the CIS should be an economic system. Որովտև նկատի ունալով նախկին սոցիալիստական կենտրոնացած տնտեսությունը դժվար էր պատկերասնել, թե այդ կենտրոնացած տնտեսությունը ինչպես կարող է այսօր մի անգամից պլուզվել։ Because taking into consideration the former socialist centralized economy was hard to imagine how that economy can suddenly fall apart. Բայց դժվարտաբար այդ տնտեսական համակարգը նույնպես փլուզվեց։ But unfortunately that economic system also disintegrated. Ես ասում եմ դժվարտաբար դա չի նշանակում, որ մենք չենք ցանկանում վերափոխել այդ համակարգը այդ կենտրոնացված տնտեսությունից, սոցիալիստական տնտեսությունից անցնել ազատ շուկայական հարաբերությունների։ Ամենևին ոչ։ In saying unfortunately, I don't mean to imply that we did not want the centralized socialist economy to develop to change into a free market economy. Ես ասում եմ դժվարտաբար մի այլ տեսակետից, որ մի անգամից քանդվեցին բոլոր տնտեսական կապերը հանրապետությունների միջև։ I say unfortunately because suddenly all of the economic ties between the republics fell apart. Որը վերջին հաշվով վնասեց բոլոր հանրապետությունների։ And this in the last in the final analysis was uh, uh, was to the disadvantage of all of the republics. Բոլոր հանրապետությունների, այդ թվում նաև Ռուսաստանի, որը ամենահարուստ հանրապետություն էր։ In uh, that it was to the disadvantage of all the republics including Russia which is the richest of the republics. Ուրեմն լավագույն եղանակը կլիներ, որպեսի միարժամանակ պահպանվեին այդ տնտեսական կապերը։ The ideal alternative would be that those economic ties be maintained. Եվ միարժամանակ սինխրոն բոլոր հանրապետություններում անցկացվեին տնտեսական ռեֆորմներ։ And at the same time, in a synchronized manner, all the republics would go through similar economic changes. Reforms. Reformers. Reforms. Reforms. Uh, but this is nothing more than a wish. անկախության էյֆորիայով uh, it's only a wish because all the republics after all became a little excited in the euphoria of independence երբ անկախությունը դիտվում էր որպես բոլոր կապերի շուտապույտ խզում իրենց նախկին պարտնյորների հետ uh, they saw independence as meaning the uh, complete and immediate uh, cutting of ties with their former partners Եվ երկրորդ այն պատճառով, որ հանրապետությունները ընտրեցին զարգացման տարբեր ճանապարներ։ And the second reason of course was that the different republics chose different routes towards uh, development. Բոլոր հանրապետությունները չէ որ հրաժարվել են սոցիալիստական տնտեսությունից։ Not all the republics have uh, given up on socialist economics. Բոլոր հանրապետությունները չէ որ ընտրել են ազատ շուկայական հարաբերությունների ճանապարհը։ Not all republics have chosen the path of market uh, of the free market. Ուրեմն այսօր ապահայի շրջանակներում ստորագրված են շուրջ 300 տնտեսական պայմանագիր, բազմակողմանի պայմանագրեր։ Within the uh, CIS within CIS circles today there are there have been signed uh, more than 300 multilateral agreements. Բայց Այս պայմանագրերից ոչ մեկը չի գործում։ But none of them works. Ոչ մեկը չի աշխատում։ None of them is operational. Դեպքում կարող եք հասնել թե ինչի վրա է հիմնված այդ ապահի տնտեսական միասնությունը։ In this case the question you might ask uh, on what is based the economic uh, unity of the CIS. Մինչև անցյալ տարվա օգոստոս ամիսը Այդ միասնությունը հիմնված էր միայն մեկ էլեմենտի վրա։ Until August last this unity was based on uh, only one element. Ռուբլու վրա։ The Russian ruble. Ռուբլին, որը միասնական վալյուտաներ բոլոր խորհրդային, նախկին խորհրդային հանրապետությունների համար։ The ruble was the uh, 
was the currency of all of the former Soviet republics. În cel tărb augustosit, acest element nu este veriatul. As of last August, that element has ceased to exist as well. Ievai surs miac elemente vor capume nachtin xorta in hara petuciunere cam apahei antam ircarnere da nici pe sasati vochte bazma comani paimana grernen. Thus today, what brings together uh, the economies of the CIS countries uh, is not the uh, multilateral agreements. Alt hara petuciunere micev cand voch irc comani paimana grere but rather the bilateral agreements that are signed between the republics. Mi comis bolor hanrapetutsunere habakvum en iral gelkhi aragarak storagrum en aspes bazmakogmani paymanagres. On the one hand all of the republics uh, gather around each other and quickly sign multilateral agreements. Bait amichapes ansnum en kogki senyak yev sksum en irar het yerkomani paymanagres storagrel vorov tev aveli shat vstahum en drants khan ait bazmakogmani paymanagres. But then immediately after signing them they go in the side rooms and sign bilater bilateral agreements in pairs because they trust those agreements more. But that's a positive uh, thing. It's true because uh, the uh, republics are developing a new culture of relations with each other. And the development of these traditions is, I believe, one of the most important uh, expressions of the sovereignty of the republics. When the, Repub when the states choose their own partners. And a healthy competition develops between them. Moreover, another positive uh, element appears. Եթե կոոպերացիան անդամ պետությունների առաջում չի հաջողվում կառավարական մակարդակով If uh, at this time at this point in time the cooperation between the uh, states of the CIS does not really happen on the state level does not emerge on the level of governments Ապա շատ հետաքրքիր է որ դա սկսել է հաջողվել Masnavor businessi makardakov. But it is uh, it's important that it is succeeding on the level of private enterprise. Private business. Sat chapazans karevore, vorovtev masnavor businessum arten stegtsvats en aynpisi mekhanizmner, vor karov en pokhadarts hashvarkner katarel irar het, bolorovin amichakanoren irar het kapchunetsvokh hanrapetutyunnere. This is very important because private businesses in uh, totally separate republics that have very little to do each other are able to uh, create accounting between each other. Ուրեմն ես կարող եմ եզրակացնել որ ապահան առայժմ նաև տնտեսական համակարգ չէ։ I can therefore conclude that the CIS is still is at this point not an economic system either. At this point, is not an economic system. In naive and tesakan hamakarche. Only manu me miain make band. Inch ne pahom dera ki ensona kuchiona. There, that leaves one thing that might uh, account for its uh, vitality. Meka, bolor hara petusioneri zaktuma hamena indepas une nalu and tesakan voreve hamakark. One is the uh, desire of all of the states to have some sort of a uh, economic structure system. Kone apagayum. At least in the future. Borofetev aransdra bolor petutsunere haskanum en vor hanaravor che goyatevel. Because all of the states understand that without that they cannot survive. Teyev bolor nel aranzin aranzin zektumen arak kerpov integratsvel michazgayin tentesakan hamakarkero. Although each of them is uh, trying its best to integrate itself into the international uh, economic uh, stru uh, structures. 
But uh, one can say that none of them has uh, any real alternatives. I have to say that all of the former Soviet republics uh, were faced with this disappointment. They all wanted to come out of the former Soviet uh, constraints and integrate themselves into the worldwide economic structures. But because there was no effective response, effective uh, acceptance, uh, they were all dis quite disappointed. And the second thing that keeps it uh, vital is that the uh, CIS represents a security system of a sort. This is extremely important. The greatest concern that existed after the disintegration of the Soviet Union was the security of the former Soviet republics. Especially because all of the republics uh, are, are on the border. And by becoming independent, they suddenly had to deal with new neighbors. It was this concern for security that uh, brought all of these republics which uh, desired independence uh, together in this uh, Commonwealth. But even in this sense, one should not be left with the impression that the CIS is a fully formed and operational uh, security system. Naturally, Mias Nakan Ramanatarutun. It doesn't have a unified command. It does not have a, uh, an integrated army, military. Although there are dozens of uh, agreements signed in this regard. But one can say that not one of them is uh, is enforceable is uh, enforceable on the uh, signatories. So when I say that it is a security structure, a security system, I do not mean it's a security system in the classic sense. But more as a psychological system of security. I don't want to interpret what I just said. I think taking into consideration the 70-year experience of the Soviet Union, it's quite clear what I'm referring to. Uh, on a psychological level, the unity that exists between the former Soviet Union's Union, uh, Soviet republics gives them a certain uh, gives them certain guarantees of security. Եվ սա ոչ միայն ներսում, այլ այվ դրսի աշխարի համար։ 
and this is not only on the internal level but also uh, towards the external world. Uh, it is true, after all, that the boundaries of the former Soviet Union with the outside world continue to have a certain uh, special significance for the outside world. The second set of issues that I want to deal with uh, today, uh, although uh, on a briefer, uh, probably uh, more briefly, it is the role of Russia. Uh, because I know that the role of Russia and the intentions of Russia are uh, seriously uh, examined in the Western world. Uh, I know that there are serious uh, discussions in the West about the uh, re-emergence uh, or the rebuilding of the Russian Empire. If we look at external uh, appearances, there might be basis for such discussions, conversations. But I might seem to be being a, a little original when I try to show the opposite. <laughs> Uh, I cannot uh, deny or rule out the fact that there are serious and quite powerful forces within Russia that want to see the re-emergence of the Soviet Union and the re-emergence of the Russian Empire. This is understandable. It would be hard to understand and it would be bizarre if such uh, forces did not exist. It would not be possible for the Russian people to suddenly liberate themselves of 400 years of uh, imperial tradition and imperialist psychology. But such forces, we should remember, exist not only in Russia, but in all of the republics of the former Soviet Union. Uh, there are these forces in other, all the republics, including Armenia, who, who, with a sense of nostalgia, would like uh, to see the Soviet Union and the Russian Empire come back. But I believe that in Russia, the uh, government is in totally different hands. Uh, power in Russia is in the hands of truly democratic and truly reformist forces. Who in uh, their political uh, practice or classical pragmatists. They uh, have put before them only totally practical questions. 
identiteyi sahman omne the most important of which is the definition of russian identity şat bart gorts vorof te norits em krknom khaghtvel e pokhvel e 400 tarva irakanutyune this is a very complex and difficult task because as i pointed out a 400 year old situation has changed uraman arachine rusakan identiteyi sahmanuma therefore the first task before them is the definition of the russian identity rusastani azgayin shaheri sahmanuma the definition of russian national interests yev irakanum is karolem mik pokr patkiravor kerpov asel avartuma ayn mets gortsi որը 1917 թվականին սկսել էր Գերենսկին, բայց չկարողացավ ավարտել, որովհետև Լենինը խանգարեց։ And uh, to put it in a, a kind of uh, figurative way, the completion of the task that Kerensky uh, began in 1917 but was not able to complete because Lenin interrupted. Կն ես հավատում եմ եւ իմ շփումները Ռուսաստանի ներկա իշխանությունների հետ մասնավորապես Ելցինի, Կոզիրևի, Կարավարության, Գայդարի, Գրաչովի հետ ինձ հիմք են տալիս ասելու, որ Ռուսաստանի ներկա իշխանությունները ամենևին մտադրություն ճունեն, մտադրություն ճունեն վերականգնելու խորհրդային կայսրությունը կամ ռուսական կայսրությունը։ I believe and my contacts with Yeltsin, Kozirev, the government, Gaidar, Grachov give me uh, uh, lead me to believe that the uh, people in power in Russia have no intention to re-establish uh, this Russian empire. Yes, Karovim, we're going to make here a past, and we're going to ask you to ask us about the past, and we're going to ask you to ask us about the past. I will bring up a couple of, uh, of points of evidence that I think are quite, uh, will, will be quite, uh, Convincing, thank you, I'm sorry. Arachine. Rusastan Arachin Yer Kirnesh, Vora in a summect vacani dectemberin, Janachets Bolos Nakin Hortain Harapetutuneri Anka Hutchin. First of all, Russia in December of nineteen ninety one was the first country that recognized the independence of all of the former Soviet republics. Yer Korte Rusastana in a sum Yer Kutvakanin, Yer Mikani Harapetutuner. Ուզում էին ստեղծել իրենց ազգային բանակները մասնավորապես Ադրբեջանը եւ Ուկրաինան ամենա շատ դրանքային պայքարում դրա համար Secondly in 1992 when some of the republics specifically Azerbaijan and the Ukraine or Ukraine wanted to form their own national militaries national armies and they were fighting hard for that Այս ժամանակ Ռուսաստանը բոլոր հանրապետություններին խնդրում էր որպեսի նրանք վերցնեն կամ ազգայնացնեն իրենց տարածներում գտնվող ռուսական զորքերը At the same time Russia was uh, requesting asking all of the republics to nationalize the uh, Russian armies that uh, were were in within their territories Մեզել են խնդրել բազմիցս նույնիսկ պահանջել եկեք ձեր մոտիցել թողնենք հեռանանք They have asked us too many times they even demanded that we allow them to leave us մենք չենք ուզել մեր դեպքում այլ բոլորովին այլ էր we are the ones who have uh, not wanted them to leave in our case it's been different եւ երրորդ փաստը the third uh, element of evidence ես արդեն ասացի անցյալ տարվա ամռանը ռուսաստանը փոխեց ռուբլին մծրեց նոր ռուբլի եւ դրանով փաստորեն բոլոր հարաբերություններին վտարեց ռուբլի գոտուց and as i pointed out last summer Russia changed the ruble and by doing that in effect expelled all of the republics from the ruble zone. Իսկ եթե Ռուսաստանը ուզենար հանրապետությունները պահել իր ձեռքում իր լծի տակ նրան բանակներ պետք չեին։ Ավելի լուրջ լծակ քան ֆինանսները քան ռուբլին նա չուներ եւ չեր էլ կարող հնարել, չեր էլ կարող ստեղծել։ If after all Russia wanted to keep all the republics within its hands under its yoke it didn't need armies uh, all it needed was the financial element and it didn't really need to invent uh, new factors new elements to keep 
keep the republics under its in its hands. Rusastana Inka, Pastorin, Arapetunerin Dritz, I'm PC Vichaki Mech, Burpes in Rank Heranan, Rublu Gotuts, Yev Stetzen, Nerdanen, Irens Asgain Dramner. Russia itself created the circumstances under which the republics had to leave the ruble zone and create their own national currency. Before that, we were totally dependent on Russia. Even though for two years we were an independent republic uh, in the financial area, we were totally dependent on Russia. We had no possibility of uh, having our own independent uh, or autonomous uh, economics uh, or financial policy. We were not the ones who issued a currency. It was the Central Bank of Russia. We had no way of uh, acting against inflation. We had no way of uh, dealing with the budget deficit. Okay. Uh, we have to be thankful, in fact. We were not ready, especially psychologically, we were not ready to, uh, to leave the ruble zone. And uh, Russia kind of uh, poured, cold, uh, poured cold water over our heads and put us into the uh, direction that we needed to take. I saw they have make shot the Zvarutun Nerunink. Uh, today, even though we have many difficulties in the economic and financial area, I have to say it's uh, the uh, governing of our economy is much easier and more manageable. Aha, Bikani, Pastel, Voronki, Skarzumem, Aveli Love, Kam, Voreve, Alban, Hosume, Rusastani, Bun, Matadrusun, Rimas. I think these facts uh, are uh, very good indicators of Russia's real intentions. I can get a portsem Yezra Castel, Karomasul Hetevela, Chiste, Verchin, Yerek, Chor, Tarinir in Tatskum, Rusastani, Kakan, Ujeri Michev. It's true, if I want to summarize or recapitulate, that there is an internal struggle within uh, two currents of Russian political uh, force. Imperialist neri, the imperialists, yev pragmatic democrat neri michev. and the pragmatic democrats. Yev Minchev hima, and up to this point, the pragmatic, pra pragmatic Democrats are victorious. And I'm uh, full of hope that the final victory will also be theirs. Saying all this, I don't want to be misunderstood. Uh, I don't want to deny that Russia has certain interests, certain uh, national interests uh, in the former Soviet Republic. Absolutely not. Russia does have interests. And it makes no secret of them. The interests are the following. It truly wants, on the one hand, to be liberated of the burden of the former Soviet republics. They are truly burdens upon Russia. Russia 
այլ ուժերի կողմից երրորդ պետությունների կողմից At the same time Russia uh, has a very jealous attitude towards the fact that the vacuum created by its uh, departure from the former Soviet republics is uh, being filled or attempts are being made to fill it by other forces I think on Ուսաստանը շատ սիրով կհերանար անդր կովկասից, միջինասյայից, մերս բալթիկայից։ Ես, Հաշյան ուտ լավ տը լիվ Հանսկակեսյան, Սենտրլ Ասյան, դը բալթիկս։ Եթե այդ գոտիները չպործեին մտնել այլ ուժեր, եթե անդր կովկաս չպործեին մտնել Turkey and Iran did not try to enter into Transcaucasia. Եթե միջինասիա չփորձեին մտնել, ասենք, Իրանը, Աֆղանստանը, Պակիստանը, Չինաստանը, Ճապոնիա, if uh, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, China and Japan did not try to penetrate Central Asia. Ահա, սա է այդ դիլեման։ Here is the dilemma. Մի կողմից Ռուսաստանը կուզեր հարգել բոլոր պետությունների սուվերենությունը չմիջամտել նրանց գործերին On the one hand Russia would like to respect the sovereignty of all these states and not interfere in their affairs Մյուս կոմիս նա ստիպված է հակակշռել այլ ուժերի թափանցմանը իր նախկին ազդեցության ոլորտները At the same time it has to um, balance out the uh, attempts to penetrate its former territory by uh, outside forces մի քանի խոսքել լեռնային Ղարաբաղի իրավիճակի մասին եւ այդ խնդրի կարգավորման գործընթացի մասին Let me also say a few words now about the situation in Mountainous Karabakh and the efforts to uh, bring an end to the situation there Որով ես կավարտեմ իմ խոսքը With which I will conclude my remarks Այսօր Լեռնային Ղարաբաղում իրավիճակը կարելի է բնութագրել հետեւյալ կերպ։ Today the situation in Mount Misqarabagh can be uh, characterized as follows. 3 տարվա պատերազմից հետո, ես ասում եմ 3, որովհետեւ պատերազմը սկսվեց 91 թվականի ապրիլին։ Uh, after 3 years of uh, battle, I say 3 years because the actual fighting began in April of 91. Այսօր uh, հակամարտող կողմերը եկել են այն իրավիճակին երբ կարծեք թե հարցի ռազմական լուծումը սպառվել է the, uh, the sides the, the military sides the conflict have come to the uh, have appear to have come to the conclusion that the military options are have come to an end ադրբեջանի կողմից այս ձմռանը ծավալած հսկայական եւ երկարատև հարցակման ձախողումից հետո Ադրբեջանը նույնպես եկել է այն համոզման, որ հարցը ռազմական լուծում չունի։ After Azerbaijan's uh, the failure of Azerbaijan in its uh, long and uh, intensive uh, attack uh, this winter, it too seems to have come to the conclusion that there is no military solution. Սա այս պատերազմի ամենակարևոր արդյունքն է This is the most important uh, outcome of the fighting so far. Այսօր ակնհայտ է, որ հակամարտող երկու կողմներ, եւ Ղարաբաղը, եւ Ադրբեջանը հոգնել են պատերազմից։ It's clear that both sides of the conflict, Nagorno-Karabakh and Azerbaijan are tired of fighting. Երկու բանակներն էլ այլևս չեն ուզում կռվել։ Both armies are no longer want to fight. Որովհետեւ շատ արյուն է թափվել because much blood has been spilled. Շատ տարածքներ են իրարից գրավվել։ Many territories have been uh, have been taken from each other. Բազմաթիվ զոհեր են եղել, հարյուր հազարավոր գաղթականներ։ There have been uh, many people have died. Uh, there have been hundreds of thousands of refugees. Երկու կողմից։ From both sides. Եվ սա կարծում եմ ամենա հարմար պահն է ամենապատմական շանսն է խաղաղություն հաստատելու համար։ I think this is the most opportune moment, this is the historical opportunity for creating peace. Սա չապազանց կարևոր է խաղաղության պրոցեսի համար։ This is very important for the uh, peace process. 
որովտեւ եթե կոմերը պատրաստ չլինեին խաղաղության ոչ մի միջնորդություն նրանց չեր ստիպի խաղաղություն հաստատել because if the sides were not ready for peace no sort of uh, intervention would prepare would make them uh, enter into peace այսօր հակամարտությունը Ղարաբաղից ու Ադրբեջանից տեղափոխվել է միջնորդների միջև uh, now the fighting is not taking place between Qarabagh and Azerbaijan but between the uh, mediators thank you ես նկատի ունեմ ռուսաստանը եւ CSE-ի i have in mind russia and the CSCE դրանցից յուրաքանչյուրը ուզում է այս միջնորդական ջանքերի մեջ խաղալ կենտրոնական տեղ each of these wants to play the central role in the mediation process նրանց միջև կան մի քանի հակասություններ there are some differences between the two որոնք բավականին բարձություն են ստեղծում բավականին դժվարացնում կամ հետաձգում են խաղաղությունը and these create uh, many complexities and make difficult or rather postpone the peace process Ես կարծում եմ բոլորը գիտակցում են եւ Վաշինգտոնյան իմ հանդիպումների ժամանակել ես ստացա նման հավաստիացումներ որ այսօր խնդիրը կայանում է հետեւյալուն I think that everyone has become convinced and I received assurances to this effect in Washington as well Միավորել համադրել Ռուսաստանի եւ CSE-ի միջնորդական ջանքերը Uh, bring together the mediation efforts of Russia and the CSCE. Yev, anel, amen. Inch vorpesi mitazgain harutyuna handes ka mek miasnakan khagarar planov. And do everything in order that the international community comes out with one uh, integrated peace plan. Kani der ka yerku plan khagutyun chilini. As long as there are two plans there will not be peace. Որովհետև յուրաքանչյուր կողմ եւ Ադրբեջանը եւ ինչու չէ նաեւ մենք միշտ էլ հնարավորություն ունենք մանեվրելու երկու պլանների միջև փորձելու տեսնել ով ավելի շատ է տալիս. Because as long as there's more than one as long as there are two plans each of the sides all of the sides Azerbaijan and why not us to uh, are look for opportunities to maneuver between the two plans see which one offers them more. Սա շատ բնական է եւ նորից եմ կրկնում քանի դեր միջազգային հարությունը կոմերին հակամարտող կոմերին չի ներկայացրել եւ նրանց չի պարտադրել պարտադրել մեկ միասնական պլան խաղաղություն չի լինի So I uh, I think this is very natural and I repeat that as long as the international community has not brought its plans together and doesn't present and uh, sort of uh, uh, force the sides to accept one plan there will not be peace Ուրեմն այսօր խաղաղությունը կախված է հենց այս հարցի լուծումից։ So today uh, peace depends on the resolution of this question. Այսինքն, եթե պատերազմը վերից սկսվի, ամենևին չպետք է մեղադրել ոչ Ադրբեջանին, ոչ Ղարաբաղին, այլ պետք է մեղադրել միջազգային հարությանը։ So if war were to recommence, uh, neither Azerbaijan nor Qarabagh should be blamed but rather the international community. Եվ երկրորդ կարևոր էլեմենտը second important element դա այն է որ արդեն բոլորը համոզված են բացի թերևս Ադրբեջանից որ խաղություն հնարավոր է հաստատել միայն ու միայն Լեռնային Ղարաբաղի սահմանների երկայնքով միջազգային բաժանարար ուժերի տեղադրման միջոցով and everyone is convinced at this point this is a second important element everyone except perhaps azerbaijan that peace can be established only through the installation of separation forces uh, between the uh, uh, along the borders of the uh, of mountainous karabakh minchev verchers ais hartsum nuinpes mishnortneri michev tarazainutyunner kayin until uh, recently there were differences between the mediators on this question Ռուսաստանը վաղուց էր պնդում, որ առանց բաժանարար ուժերի հնարավոր չէ կոնֆլիկտի լուծումը։ Russia has long been insisting that uh, the resolution of the conflict is not possible without separation forces. Իսկ CSE-ին դերևս մտածում էր, որ խաղաղություն հնարավոր է հաստատել միայն դիտորդների օգնությամբ։ 
whereas the CSCE believe that perhaps it is possible to establish peace only uh, through the uh, installation of monitors. I source is Carol M. Nashil, or CSE Nuimpes, Rajarvele Aismat Kits, Yevjekele Ein Hamozman, or Aranz Bajanara Ujeri, Hautun Hastatel Naraburche. I can say that today the CSCE too has come to the conclusion, has come to the conviction that uh, separation forces are uh, required for the establishment of peace. Tayev CSCE Planum, I to Jere Koshum, Wosh the Bajanara Ujer, Al Michas Gayin, Amvatangutian Ujer. Uh, even though in the CSC plan, those forces are not called separation forces, but uh, international security forces. International security forces. Okay. By terminere karibor chen karibor eutune. But the terminology is not important. The nature is important. Yes, hamena inte pus hamos vatsep kam aveli chist husovem. Avor CSI Evrosastani Tarazainutunere Shat Shutov Kahartven. I am convinced, or more accurately, I'm hopeful that the differences between Russia and CSC will soon be uh, resolved. Yev Minchev Arachikat Zemer, Verchapes, Vernay Garabarum, Kahastat V, Ainkan, Pai Pai Vat, Hautun. And by next winter, in Mount Nesharabakh will be established the peace that is that is so much desired. Is Khaarutyun and Mesamar Nishanakume Amvatangutyun. And for us peace means security. Mesamar Nishanakume Lernayin Garabagi Banakutsyan Fizika Kan Goyutyun. For us it means the physical uh, existence of the people of Mount Nasharabakh. Khaarutyun Mesamar Nishanakume Blokadani Riveratsum. For us, peace means uh, the removal of blockades. Ayastani azat tentesakan harabelutsun neri bolor hariban neri het. Means free uh, economic relations between Armenia and all of its neighbors. I think an normal tentesakan kensa gortun It means normal economic activity. Voris husovem which I hope will quickly lead to the development of Armenia's economy and the improvement of the conditions of life for the population of Armenia. Thank you for your attention. time for uh, a number of questions and as you can see we have microphones on the first level both on the right and the left and for the people who would like to ask a few questions if they could come down to the first level and try to keep their questions as short as possible the president has got a very busy schedule today and and we're going to try to keep them on that schedule uh, my name is Sonia Ketchin I'm from the Harvard Russian Research Center Mr. President, it was a wonderful presentation. Could you answer the following question? Can you bring an example of an event when your training as an historian served you and Armenia especially well? It's a difficult question. Uh -huh. I think uh, politics is not for historians. 
բայց մի ուրիշ բան էլ կարող եմ ասել ուրիշ բան էլ կարող եմ ասել իհարկե եթե ես վաղոց որոշած լինեի որ պիտի ինչ ասեմ 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 ինչ
we don't want to spill any more we don't want any more blood to be spilled. We don't want to lose any more of our children. We want to tear down the blockade. We want to have a normal economy. The third point of departure that comes out of the first two is that we should welcome any force that uh, brings us that peace. I saw Միայն Ռուսաստանն է ամբողջ աշխարհում միայն Ռուսաստանն է պատրաստակամություն հայտնել խաղաղար ուժեր ուղարկել Լեռնային Ղարաբաղ։ Today in all of the world only Russia has expressed the willingness to send uh, such forces to uh, the area. Ոչ վեք, ոչ ոք, ոչ մի այլ երկիր նման առաջարկ մեզ չի արել։ No other country has made a similar uh, suggestion to us. Եվ շատ բնական է, որ իմ պատասխանում ասված էր ալտերնատիվ չկա։ And that's why in my uh, interview I said there is no alternative. Դրամար ես ասել եմ մենք պետք է ողջ ունենք այդ ուժերի տեղակայումը։ That's why I've said we should welcome uh, the uh, those forces. Շնորհակալություն։ Խնդրեմ։ Mr. President, my name is Herman Turutian from Worcester Armenian Radio Program. Um, as uh, during your political career, you had an opportunity to work with both Presidents Gorbachev and Yeltsin. Could you comment on um, how their styles may differ, uh, what it was like working with both of them, and how their attitudes toward Armenia perhaps differ, and uh, what, the toward, what the current uh, attitude is? Yes, I am Sarman Prudiani, Worcester Kalaki, Haikalan Radio Jami Ashatogem, Uram Duk Zerkakan, Kankin Taskin, Aritne Kunetsemoti Tashatelute, Gorbachoviete, Yeltsinihet, Karolek, Miego Hoskasel, Irens Gorzela Kerpi, Tarberuchan Masin, Unae Vait Masin, Vorirens Motetsuma Hayastani Handep, Inchpesa Tarberi Rarus. Hayastani Handep Motetsuma, Iharke, Kahvatze, Ait Martkans. Antanur, Martkayin, Benutagrit, Yev, Kakan, Concepcionerit. Their uh, attitude towards Armenia, of course, is uh, tied in with their character as humans as well as their general political uh, philosophies. Yev, yes, Kartumem, Yete Portsem, Gnahatel, Nerans, Aiste Sakitits, Arten Haitnikalin, Nerans, Verabel Munka, Hayastani, Nekatma. So were we to look at their characters and uh, politics, we could uh, figure out what their approach is towards Armenia. First Gorbachev. Gorbachev. <laughs> I know that in the West he's looked up at as a great political figure, as someone who's uh, played a pivotal role in history, not only for the Soviet Union, but in world history. And it would be very difficult to not agree with that uh, assessment if we were to judge his uh, activity by the outcome of his activity. Iskapes Gorbachevits heto veratsav komunistakan rezhime. Truly after Gorbachev the communist regime fell. Veratsav Rusakan imperian. The Russian Empire came to an end. Kandvets Berlini pate the Berlin Wall was torn down. The Cold War came to an end. If we tie all of this to Gorbachev's name, then he becomes a truly great historical personality. But. You don't judge the greatness of a person by the 
uh, outcome of the policies the person follows? Ail. Neranov, te inch na patak nerer drel ait kaak kan gortiche ir archev yev inchi hasaf. But by the intentions, the uh, the goals that the political personality was trying to reach, and whether those were the goals that that political personality indeed achieved. Voch hazayna rutsun hik tvakanin yerb garbachova yekav ishanutyan gluch. Vochel. Neither in 1985 when Gorbachev came to power nor in 1991 when his uh, rule came to an end did he have the intention of bringing an end to communist power or bringing an end to the Soviet Union. So a political personality who pursues a certain set of goals in his activity but reaches an entirely different set of uh, results cannot be assessed as a great political personality. Gorbachev now has one chance to really enter history as a great political figure. That's if he finds some secret documents, secret recordings or something that show that in 1985-1986 he had set before him the goal of bringing an end to communism in the Soviet Union. Gorbachev is a great political in 1985, Gorbachev came to power with uh, but one goal. Of course, he was an intelligent man. He's an intelligent man, a communist of the new generation. Intelligent, um, experienced, cunning. But not as numerous but he saw, and he saw that the Soviet Union, both as a political and as an economic system, had uh, completely consumed itself. His goal was to bring uh, the Soviet Union back to health, back to strength. To cure it through political uh, reforms and through economic reforms. And to make those reforms within certain parameters. But the goal he pursued was uh, quite difficult. Because the tools he had chosen for his task were very dangerous tools and could have uh, led to suicide. But mask petutiam match. The kus sahmana pak demokratian arten lurj betange irenis nerkayasnom ait bas mask petutian hamar. In a multinational state. Uh, even a s small amount of democracy creates lethal danger for that state. Avelin, then the second banana gavarom. The woman take her account and it captures it so many banana gavar. Now, our chief car make hunter has can only ever hold time. Can't run at that. Then the future lives parallel. Then I live with that mechanism. Never change. Carog apa hovel. Then the future zargatsum. Moreover, in the political, in the economic arena, which seems to be a totally non-political arena. Uh, it was clear that the economic system had consumed itself and could not continue to function. So there was one condition under which uh, the Soviet economy could develop. The decentralization of the economy. The decentralization of the economy. 
որը սակայն ատոմայի ռումբեր դրված խորթայի միության հիմքում but the decentralization of the economy was like a nuclear device in the heart of the Soviet Union. Որովհետև տնտեսության ապակենտրոնացումը ամիջապես նշանակում էր ռեգիոնների անկախացում, հանրապետությունների անկախացում. Because economic decentralization instantly meant the independence of the republics and of the regions. Որովհետև նա հայսպիսի բարդ դիալեկտիկայի մեջ էր այսպիսի դիլեմայի արջև էր Գորբաչովը so Gorbachev was in such a complicated uh, dialectic, uh, such a Miko difficult mit. dilemma. On the one hand, to consolidate the country, he had to uh, strengthen the economy. On the other hand, in order to strengthen the economy, he had to decentralize it. And uh, that, after all, brought him to what happened. So I repeat, Gorbachev had chosen certain goals and uh, reached totally different goals. As for Yeltsin, I find that Yeltsin is a truly historical figure. Իսկապես պատմական, որովհետև իմ ելույթի սկզբում էլ ասացի, որ նա իր լայնախոհությամբ, իր նույնիսկ մարդկային բարությամբ, նրանք համեմատելի մարդիկ չեն։ Իլցինը ինչ ասեմ, համակ բարություն է, ամբողջական բարություն։ Նա կարող է ջղայնանալ, նա կարող է զայրանալ, նա կարող է ընդունել խիստ որոշումներ, բայց նա մարդ է։ Ըմ Yeltsin is truly a, a historical figure. As I pointed out in the beginning of my remarks, he had the presence of mind and also the human goodness. Uh, he's truly a good, a good man. He's all, he's all uh, goodness. And uh, he can get angry. He can make strict decisions, difficult decisions. But he's uh, good at heart. Uh, Gorbachev is the opposite. <laughs> Նա կարող է ժպտալ, նա կարող է շատ մեղմ խոսել, բայց գործել լրիվ չարության։ He can smile, he can uh, speak softly, but operate uh, in an evil manner. Նորից եմ կրկնում, uh, Ելցինը ես համարում եմ իսկապես պատմական անձնավորություն, որը եվ Հուսաստանը եվ նախկին խորթային մյուս հանրապետությունները փրկեց մեծագույն արհավիրքներից I, as I pointed out, I find him to be a truly historical figure who saved the Soviet Union, uh, excuse me, uh, Russia and the other republics of, uh, from catastrophe. I think in the last few decades since Khrushchev, he's the first uh, great uh, enlightened figure in Russian history. Thank you. I'm afraid, given the schedule, we have time for just one more question, and we're going to go to this gentleman over here. Welcome to our country, Mr. President. My, my name is Murat Ajemolo. I have a two-part question. The first question, at the beginning of your presidency, like a great statement, you made it opening of reconciliation with the Republic of Turkey. You attended the funeral of their late president and you made every effort to eliminate historical misunderstanding between two people. Yet, the Republic of Turkey <coughs> unfortunately rebuffed you and he tried to take opportunity with his pan-Turkish and pan tranist design to expand his influence into the former Soviet republics. And he put three major conditions. One was that Armenia has renounced the genocide that never happened. Also, will request that Armenians and diaspora will never raise the issue in the Western public opinion. The second, the Re Armenian Republic will not have any territorial demand. And the third, 
Armenia will accept that Azerbaijan is integral part, uh, then Armenia will accept that Karabakh is integral part of Republic of Azerbaijan. With these harsh preconditions, they exhibit that their intention is not really any friendly relation, yet they continue to meddle into the uh, internal affair of Azerbaijan, treating Azerbaijan as a their province, meddling into the internal affair of Moldova, trying to defending the Turkish minority Gagau's rights, also trying to form alliance with Ukraine against the former Can we republics. get the question, please, sir? The, the question is how we can reconcile these differences and try to have a friendly and good neighborly relation once the Turkey has too many preconditions. Urema, uh, okay, I understand. Stag Ambo. Nach yesu zume masil, bor, ain dir koroshuma, bor hayastana, bor tegreler. Sranit Chor Stari Arach, Yer Payastanum Ishanutian Gluhekan, Nor Democratagan, Uzer, Turkia in the Katmamp, I saw El Chipochtel. First, I would like to point out that Armenia's position vis a vis Turkey, which was adopted four years ago when the Democratic forces first came to power, has not changed. I think an Ayastana, Zerk Berelo, Iran Kahutuna, Vortegrets, Hetevyarf, Doctrina. Vor ir amvatangutian yev apahovutian amena husali yerashkika hayastani normal haraberutunernen ir bolor harevanderi het. Upon independence, Armenia adopted the following doctrine that the best guarantee for its security is to have normal relations with all its neighbors. Bolor harevanderi ait tovum nayev Turkiya yehet chnayat merunetsat patmakan lurch kakakan hakasutunerin nerahet. Uh, among its neighbors, Turkey, uh, including Turkey, in spite of the serious historical and uh, political differences that we have had during our history. Uh, we found that as neighbors, we have to have a uh, adopt a new mentality and have normal economic and cultural relations with each other. Borong, a high scapere, make was tahing for Astichana bar, Kahangets nein, naive Kakakan, naive Patmakan, a room of at Turumbernum neri veratsmana, yef pohadats vestahutian amrapandman. Which we, be we believe that the development of these economic and cultural relations would uh, gradually lead to a, a resolution of. Uh, Historical and political misunderstandings and differences between us. Yev petye is gohuna kutiam pnushem vor skizbum Turkakan karavarutiuna nuimpes amad zainer aha arashnortvel neman dir koroshma. I must note with satisfaction that in the beginning the Turkish side was also uh, happy to pursue this approach. Yev katarvetsin voroshaki khaylesh yerkustek. And specific steps were taken on. Both sides. Yes, she get them to the quarter. It's a great light. Naha Paiman Nere, drank Kani Harke, Mamulu Marsars Kum, Bites, Niscaro, and Hitararin, or Pashtona Pes, Pashtona Kama Kardakov, Mer, Haraberutuneri, Zargatsman, Gunagavaro, Mes Vuchmi, Naha Paiman, Chi Arachar, Turkia Ekomit. I don't know where you get those preconditions that you outlined. Uh, I know uh, one finds them in the pages of the press, but on an official level, uh, no, pre no such preconditions have been set before us. Absolutely. Sakain, Sksats, in a soon year, could Vakanitz, yet learn in Garabari conflict of Horatsav, Turkian Nahan Jets, Aha Ice Aroch Dirkoroshumi. But since 1992, uh, with the uh, mountainous Garabakh conflict becoming more profound, Turkey. Uh, Withdrew, kind of uh, retreated, retreated from these. Uh, retreated from these, from this approach. 
Ուրեմն նահանջեց ինչ առումով։ Թուրքիան սկսեց աստիճանաբար եւ այնուհետև արդեն ամբողջությամբ հայ թուրքական հարաբերությունները պայմանավորել հայ ադրբեջանական հարաբերություններով։ From that point Turkey began to uh, condition Armenian Turkish relations on Armenian Azerbaijani relations. Ես կարծում եմ ցա թուրքական կառավարության կողմից ամենայն դեպս հաջող I find that this was not <coughs> this uh, uh, on the part of the Turkish government was not in any case a, uh, a appropriate approach policy. Որովհետև եթե Թուրքիան իսկ ապես շահագրգրված էր Լեռնային Ղարաբաղում շուտափույթ խաղաղություն հաստատելու կամ արդարացի լուծում գտնելու հարցով Ես կարծում եմ նա չպետք է խզեր իր հարաբերությունները Հայաստանի հետ։ I believe that if Turkey was truly interested in having a uh, fast and just solution to the Karabakh problem, it should not have uh, deteriorated its relations with Armenia. Հակառակը զարգացնելով իր հարաբերությունները Հայաստանի հետ, ես վստահեմ, որ Թուրքիան շատ ավելի նպաստած կլիներ Լեռնային Ղարաբաղում շուտափույթ խաղաղություն հաստատելու գործից։ On the contrary, I believe that by improving its relations with Armenia and developing them, it would have served the cause of uh, bringing peace to Karabakh uh, much, uh, much more effectively. Բոլոր դեպքերում ես համոզված եմ, որ Հայաստանի եւ Թուրքիայի միջեւ կամուրջները այրված չեն։ In all cases, I believe that the uh, bridges between Armenia and Turkey have not been burned. Չնայած թուրքական հասարակական կարծիքում, ընդդիմության շարքերում Հայաստանի նկատմամբ, հայ ժողովրդի նկատմամբ հնչող չափազանց ծայրահեղ կոչերին բոլոր դեպքերում թուրքական կառավարությունը դեմիրելը, չիլերը պահպանել են որոշակի հավասարակշռություն, որոշակի զսպվածություն։ In spite of the uh, prevalent opinion in Turkish public opinion as well as in the uh, ranks of the opposition uh, I believe that Demirel and Chiller, the uh, Turkish uh, authorities, have maintained a certain amount of balance and restraint. Եվ ես վստահեմ Լեռնային Ղարաբաղում խաղաղության հաստատումից հետո հայ թուրքական հարաբերությունները սկսեն նորմալանալ, նորմալանալ այն հունով, որը քիչ առաջ ես գծեցի։ Իսկն առևտրական, տնտեսական, մշակութային հարաբերություններ, որոնք ես վստահեմ հետագայում կհանգեցնեն քաղաքական, նաև պատմական փոխըմբռնման։ uh, I'm sure, however, that with the uh, furtherance of the peace process in Nagorno-Karabakh, the process that I outlined earlier, that of the development of trade, economic, and cultural relations, will gradually lead to a normalization of political and historical differences. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.